Hello, hello, and greetings to you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Minister Durant, and I welcome you to my channel. I pray as you tune in that the living word of God will encourage you and bring hope to your situation. Today I would like to talk to you on this topic. God sees you in your wilderness. God, the true and living God, sees you in your wilderness. And this story is taken from Genesis chapter 16. It's a story between Sarah, which is Abraham's wife, and Hagar, her maidservant. We all know the story that Sarah was unable to conceive, even though God had promised her that she would have a son. And she was unable to conceive because she was past the time of her life to bring forth a child. Nevertheless, with her impatience, she became so impatient that she sent her husband in, Abraham, to his hand to her maidservant, which is Hagar. And so Hagar quickly conceived a child for Abraham, which is Sarah's husband. And so when Sarah, who is Abraham's wife, saw uh, her maidservant mocking and treating her with contempt and despising her, Sarah decided to treat her with such harshness and, and punishment. And so we see that the conception of this child within Aga's womb um, brought such great dysfunction within the family home and within the family um, unity. And so after conceiving, a feud between these two women ar arise that Agar, the maidservant, decided, I cannot live any longer under this pressure. I, I cannot live um, under this constraint. And so she decided that she, is, she will flee away from, from Sarah, her, her, um, her mistress. And this is what it says in Genesis chapter, chapter 16. And we read verse, from verse 7. Um, to verse 10. Now the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, by the spring on the way to shore. And he said, Hagar, Sarah's maid, where have you come from? And where are you going? She said, I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarai. The angel of the Lord said to her, return to your mistress and submit yourself under her hand. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, I will multiply your descendants greatly so that they shall not be counted for multitude. And in verse 13, she said, Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her. You are the God who sees. For she said, Have I also here seen him who sees me? This is such a powerful story in the book of Genesis chapter 16 where Hagar fled from the presence of her mistress, Sarah, fleeing the security of her home, fleeing the security of her master. It's possible that she was on her way going back to her homeland, going back to Egypt by way of the wilderness. And so it happened that while she came in this wilderness, that the angel of the Lord, she met the angel of the Lord and the angel of the Lord instructed her and told her, Agar, what you need to do, you need to return to your mistress. You need to return and you need to submit yourself to her. Yes, she's treating you cold. Yes, she's treating you with harshness. Yes, she's treating you with brutality. But I want you to return to your mistress and I want you to submit yourself to her. And so, as human beings, we tend to want to take the easy way out, seeking for relief from distress and, and harshness and from troubles that may come our way. And sometimes we, we act in such haste to abandon the service that God has placed before us. The post that we should be working in and, and operating in. And so this is what Agar did. She fled from the presence of her mistress because her mistress was treating her harshly. And the church today, in, especially in this time of the pandemic, 
Many have and are fleeing from God. Many today are saying they're unable to bear the affliction and the troubles that have come upon them. And because of this, they have become so weary and distressed and they have become confused. And so when these, when we face all these challenges, what we tend to do, we, we tend to want to run and we tend to want to flee. But God is saying, it is not my will for you to run. It is not my will for you to crumble. And it is not my will to fall under pressure. In the scripture, that be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. God wants us to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. God is saying, don't run. God is saying, endure hardship as a good soldier. We need to endure hardship as a good soldier in order for us, for us to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And also, we need not to entangle ourselves in the affairs of this, of this life. This is what Paul told Timothy, not to entangle himself in the affairs of this life. You know, the scripture says, lay aside every weight and sin that does so easily entangles uh, entangles us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us in order for us to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus we also must remember that we are here to please God because the scripture said without faith it is impossible to please God God does not want us to grow weary and God does not want us to faint in the inner man in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 20, it reads, Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work, to do his will, working in you what is well, pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. God wants us to please him despite the fact that we are in the wilderness and despite the fact that we're going through our storm, despite the fact that we're um, enduring such hardship and, and such trials and harshness from the adversary, we are his workmanship. We have he has created us to do his will. He has created us that we, that we will do what is pleasing unto him. So today, for those of you who are contemplating going back to Egypt by way of the wilderness, just like Agar did when she fled from Sarah, her mistress, it is not God will for, God's will for you to return into the wilderness. This is not God's plan for you to go into the wilderness. God is saying to you today, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made you free. And do not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't be a slave to pity. Don't be a slave to sorrow. Don't be a slave to fear. And don't be a slave to fear and worry and sin. God is saying, don't get yourself entangled again in the yoke of bondage. God is saying to you, return to your master. He's saying, return to the Lord and Savior of your soul. He's saying, return to me. And so if we return to him, Agar, Agar she testifies your might. So Father God, we submit, oh God, all our cares, all our burdens and our worries to you. And we say, Father God, have your own way in our lives as we give you glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Continue to stay strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, as you put on the whole armor of God. This is Minister Durrett reminding you to get connected and stay connected with Christ.